Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me. Um, so I'm continuing with my um, William Morris journals, making different pieces of ephemera. Um, and I've just watched Rachel's latest um, challenge where she's used some postcards. So I thought, well, I, I don't want to use them as a pocket, but I can use them as a as a tuck in, you know, as to go into a pocket. So. I started and I made one, which I'm really pleased with. So I think that's one of Andrea's birds on there um, and a couple of labels. And on the back, uh, Mrs. Cog's images, I've, I've done them. I think it was two to a page to make them smaller. But I'm quite pleased with that one. So I thought, well, I'll switch the camera on and see if I can make a couple more. Um, I'm surrounded by all sorts of papers. Um, but yeah, well, let's give it a go, shall we? So the postcards that I've got are from Rachel. Um, I can't, I think it's one of her ephemera sets. I've got a few of her sets. Um, so I want to make a couple to go in to the, um, I'm sorry, is the light on there? Okay. Um, to go in the um, William Morris journals. So I'll just take one off the top and we'll give it a go. So move those to the side. If you could see what's around me, honestly. Um, I've printed some um, of the William Morris paper onto, um, I think it's called deli paper. So it's a bit like really fine um, uh, white butcher's paper or, let me check, I've got some. So I was sent this, so it's really, really translucent, translucent transparent. Um, so I've I put some double-sided sellotape on one edge and attached it to a piece of A4 paper and just photocopied on it. Um, and then I've just glued it onto a piece of music paper. And looking at it, the colour of that stamp goes quite nicely. So I'm thinking I'm going to use that for one of the backgrounds. Um, again, I'm feeling a bit disjointed today, but hey-ho. It takes me a while to get back into the swing of things and, um, excuse the back of it, I printed too small, but you're not going to see that. Oh, and I need to, <laughs> I'm really disjointed, aren't I? Um, I want it to be a pocket. No, I don't want it to be a pocket. I want to be able to get into it to show that it is a pocket. Snip on that. And then I'm going to glue it. Of course, you're not going to see the back of this, so I'm not worried that I... I misprinted. Um, I've printed this onto a very a lightweight cardstock. So I think it's about 120, 130 this. I can't honestly remember. But it isn't, you know, you can see it's quite flexible. It's not really, really thick card. And I don't think I've cut these. Well, the postcards, they're not square um, because they're um, Rachel scanned, scanned them. They, they are obviously aren't going to be square. Um, and I want to leave... I know Rachel did a really small flap on hers. Um, but I don't want too small a gap. Gap? Flap. <laughs> and I want to leave a space. Oh, let's just do it there. So how is everyone this morning? I hope you're okay. It's a lovely sunny day here in the UK. Um, my holiday washing is finally all out on the line, or the last of it. I've stripped the beds in the camper van, so that's all nicely doing. Just going to neaten these edges where it overhangs slightly. And as I say, I know because these postcards are old and because they've been scanned, you know, they're not, they're not perfectly straight, but that's fine by me. And I guess if you're mask making, you need to do it you're supposed to make all a few of these together first, aren't you? Keep that. Never know when. I think I should trim a bit off the bottom there. I think sometimes I'm maybe a little bit too um, pedantic about what what I the way I work things, but I'm unfortunately I'm quite a neat, tidy um, kind. Oh, look at that! I do like that. I think the colour of that flap just looks so nice on that, doesn't it? And I think I have got a corner punch, a corner punch. Is that what this is called? 
just round the edges. So yeah, I like that one. And I like the pattern on the back. So that's one. So we've got one. Yay. Not decorated, but we've got one. So I'll do a couple more. Um, I've got a small Edith Holden book. Um, and I was thinking maybe they would work as... Um, it's, I've obviously folded it at, at some point to use in a in a book as a page. But I'm kind of thinking that those two might make nice envelopes or postcards to go into a um, a journal so I might just do one of those while I'm just thinking about it um, and maybe I will cover those yep I can trim it down slightly can't I I'm gonna take the edges off that sorry if I'm just out of screen I'm just trimming Trimming it down slightly. So that, you know, you don't have to use postcards. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You don't have to use a postcard to, um, to make these. I don't know if that's square or not. What do we think? Sorry, somebody's having skips and all sorts delivered again outside. Um, they're starting building work, I think. I'm just going to, do I want to make that a bit smaller? Just neaten it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. And that's quite pretty there. So I'm going to stick that on there. <laughs> I would if I had my glue. There we go. Notch in the top mm, carefully because I don't want to take the head off of that. Or the tail off that um, blue tip there. So I've, what, I've seen a few people make these um, and obviously because I've been away, I'm way behind with Rachel's challenges. So at the moment, I'm working backwards through them. That's not very exactly flimsy paper, is it? So I don't think I need to line that at all. Make sure that's sticking on there. Cut that off there. You'll be able to use that, keep that as well. Things you keep, eh? You never know when you might need something with a little flower on it. That one on there. Um, corner punch, that's what I'm looking for, isn't it? Corner rounder, punch, whatever it's called. And then that can fold over there. I know those numbers are upside down. But that's quite pretty as well, isn't it? I like that one as well. So that's two. I suppose that one would work as well, wouldn't it? But I'll do, do something different. I'll hold on to that. Um, I've got this as well. And I'm kind of thinking that that might make its own little one, a little envelope without adding anything onto it. So I've really gone off, uh, <laughs> off instruction on this. Sorry, Rachel. But as Rachel always says, there's no rules. There are no rules. So I'm just going to do it because I think that would make a nice little envelope. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And of course, you know, not obviously these ones won't um, won't go in my William Morris journal. But they will certainly go into my stash pile for future projects. I think I'm just going to take a little bit off the top there. I'm going to leave the number 10 because I quite like seeing number 10 on there. So I guess what I'm saying is um, my thoughts are if you haven't got postcards, you know, but you've got some a book page that's got an image on it that you like, um, 
it doesn't have to be Edith Holden, does it? You know, we've got all sorts of books that we like. You can make these kind of envelopes out of them and either, as I did with this one, add a pretty book page onto the back of it or as I'm doing with this one, let's just round those corners. And without even thinking about it, I've actually got the writing in the right direction, haven't I? Mine, minor, <laughs> minor miracle for me. Some glue on there. There we go. The only thing is, obviously, the back's going to be um, upside right, down writing. But to be honest, that doesn't matter to me an awful lot. I mean, it could be that I end up, when I use this one, using it as, um, as a pocket on a page um, so you wouldn't see the back. Um, so I'll probably put a lace tab or something on that one and maybe use that as a, an actual pocket. Hey, crack in here. Um, where's the, I've put my postcards. Oh, here they are. Let's see, I've put them down somewhere. Um, so if I do a couple more to go with my... I want some of the larger ones to go. These are all different sizes. Yeah, it's quite a larger one. Um, I think I'm going to use that paper on it. And I would like that flower to be the pocket. Let me just take this white edge off. Um, I think, gosh, everything around me is collapsing. Let me just shove these out of the way. Um, I think this paper that I've used um, on here, I misprinted on the back. But obviously, so I didn't use it in the kit. In the kit, in the um, journals that I'm doing. I think I printed this for the larger journal, but because I printed the background smaller, I didn't want the papers to come out smaller on it. So I'd like to get a bit of a flower on it. So I think I'm going to stick it that side. Yeah. So thinking of how I want it to look when it's done. Sorry, if I do sound disjointed, please bear with me. It's sometimes... Um, I tend to go quiet when I'm trying to think what it is I want to do. Um, sometimes my brain just doesn't want to work when I'm, I can't, sp <laughs> can't speak and glue at the same time. There we go. How close to the top are they? They are quite close to the top, aren't they? So I'm going to stick it. I'm going to stick it there. There we go. And then still using my quilting ruler. I did think about um, getting a, um, gosh, what do you call them? Guillotine. Is that what they're called? Guillotines? It's like with a slidey blade and things. But I don't know. I, I'm not used to using my quilting ruler. I just seem to stick with it. And it. It works well for me. That actually would make a nice journaling card, wouldn't it? Yeah, hang on to that. Because I've got to make journal cards yet for the um, journals that I'm doing. So when we fold that down. Oh, yep. Fab idea, Rachel. And that's nice on the back as well, isn't it? But I just think I just thought that flower went so nicely with that. So I hope you can see okay. Are you close enough? I can put you a bit closer. So I think what I'm gonna do is I might decorate these two 
to go into the journals or try to. Um, but what would I want to do on them? That's the thing. I've got some flowers. I'm thinking maybe it might need to be a blue flower if that's blue. Or is it kind of a green? Nothing in that I've got here is grabbing me. That might be okay. Not sure. Not sure, not sure. Quite like that. One of my snips again that I've got little bits left over. I know we keep saying keep all your little bits, but really do. But I think that just matches nicely with that, that as well. It doesn't look too bad with that on it either, does it? That could go a little bit further up. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, um, glue. Glue would be good. Let's put a bit of glue on here. And then at least I'll have a couple completed that I can put away in the box for the journals that I'm doing, can't I? And then I'll carry on and do some more um, to go into my stash boxes. Gosh, and which whose box would I put these on? Because there's bits that's come up there. Look, there's bits of Rachel, there's bits of Andrea, there's <laughs> paper I didn't stick that very well did I it's quite hard sometimes to see I've seen people have got um, um, glue sticks that are a color that um, dry um, dry clear maybe I should have one of those it's sometimes hard to see where you've glued and where you haven't and I think the deli paper it's a little bit waxed but if I'm worried about it, then I can always stitch around that. I'll have a look later, see how it's doing. I think I'm going to cut the very top ones off. Do I need a label? <laughs> you sound like Rachel now, don't I? Do we need a label? We may very well do. Maybe a blue one, maybe a bigger blue one. Snip the corners of that one. Gosh, I've got a rumbly tumbly this morning. I'm thinking about it. I haven't had a cup of tea. My mid morning tea. Oh, I like that. Yep, done. Sorted. See, I'm trying to make judge, uh, quick decisions with you all today. Oopsie daisy. Sticking to my fingers, that on there. And then my flower. And I think I've got to snip a little bit of the flower off, haven't I? Sorry, I'm wobbling you. I'm being too too energetic with my glue. So this one might need stitching round. It depends um, when I come back and have a look. What whether the um, glue has stuck the um, Deli paper to the music paper. Um, scissors right in front of you, Carol. Sorry, I hope I was on camera then. But that's what I've got there. And then the back of it. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Um, oops, Daisy. I have got one of Rachel's. 
would it be too much to have that on there and maybe put a bird on as well I think that one's too big although I've got that that's one of Mrs Cobb's um, cards I've got a Oh, they're all the birds are flying out. I've got a kingfisher. Is it too much to have a flower on the front? Do we just want to put a label on the back? Hmm. wouldn't detract too much from it. So I do like this paper. Sorry, what I was thinking then was if I could cut that out nice and neatly, whether that lady would um, fit behind it. She might do. Let, just bear with me a moment. Okay, so I'm back and it did and I quite like that. I'm going to put that on there. Who says we can't? So that was one of Rachel's um, um, labels that I've got and I've just cut the centre out of it and then stuck one of the little images. I've got it the right way up, haven't I? Gosh, mess everywhere. Still, you can't create without a mess. So what do you think of that? There we are, look. So it's put the lady on there. Kind of straight. There we go. Press her down. And it's got the flowers on it. So that's one to go. Well, I've actually got two, haven't I? Because I did this one as well for the Art Nouveau. And I've got that one as well. So we've got those two that are done. Um, and maybe I'll have time to, to do this. Tell you what, I'll put you on pause a moment while I decide what I'm going to put on it. OK, I think I might be going over overkill on the birds, but I like it so I don't mind. Um, I think sometimes you just have to do what you think what you feel looks right and I guess not everybody's going to agree with you and I don't for one minute think you'll all agree with me but I like this I like the redness of this kind of picking up on there and I think he's just going to sit nicely just there and he still shows up this background because it's quite a dark paper um, lots of other things were hiding on it hiding not very, um, didn't stand out very much, that's what I'm trying to say. There we are, get some glue on this fella. I like him. And he's just going to sit just there. And this one's going to sit on my finger. And then on the front here, I think I'm going to put that on there. I am. So again, still tying it into the um, William Morris Art Nouveau kind of theme with what I've got. And cut the bottom off. lost my bird and I won't I don't want him to go under <laughs> fly away bird I don't want him to tip underneath there but I think he's going to sit on there so that's going to go on there one of the labels again I think these labels of traces I'm finding them really useful um, because a lot of them well some of them are in French and that kind of fits with my theme as well I think 
and then I think he could be looking down there and reading that label. Clever bird. I know Rachel does her challenges on a on a timer. <laughs> Absolutely no good for me doing that. I wouldn't get anywhere, would I? There we go. I need to go and wash my fingers. I know that. So I've done quite a bit with you, I think. I feel that I've accomplished something. So I've got that one. So that will um, go into my current journals as a as a tuck spot or in a tuck spot is what I should say. So I'm happy with that one. Let me just lift you up slightly before I go and bump you on the head. So I've got that one finished. Got that one finished with the lady on the back. I like that one. And then this is the one that I did um, before I switched the camera on. So I'm happy with that one. So I've got those three that we finished. And I've also got the envelope that I made that I'm going to use as a pocket on a probably a floral journal. I don't know. That'll go in my stash. And then I've used one of the Edith Holden book pages as well to do another one. So thank you so much for coming to join me. Oh, before you go. I forgot when I was um, when I showed you the soft cover journal. Let me just lift you up a little bit. When I did showed you the soft cover journal last time. By the way, both of these journals um, that I'm making have been reserved. Thank you so much. Um, I forgot to say, which was really remiss of me, that in this one as well, I have also used papers from um, Mrs. Cog's um, Art Nouveau journal kit. So they're in there, and they're brilliant writing spaces. And they just go really well with the theme that I'm trying to do. So I forgot to say that. Um, sorry, I'm slightly out, aren't I? I forgot to say that when you were with me last time. So I just wanted to mention that. So these will be fabulous going in there. So thank you so much. I hope that you like what I'm doing and I will be back. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.